How's it going, Lin Fan fans? Welcome to another episode of Linden Subscriptions. Today I'm checking out How to Be Your Gender by the channel Isaac Butterfield. Well, I thought there was two genders, but nowadays there's apparently over 140, so who knows? I don't understand it myself, but anyway, let's watch this video because it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Do you remember when you were a kid and you were at school and someone said to you, maybe a teacher, maybe someone of importance within that school said, hey, you can be anything you want. Yes, I, I, I remember that, yeah. I didn't realise I was talking about my gender, but okay. I thought, maybe I can. Turns out what they meant was you could be any fucking gender you want. You can be a man, you can be a woman, you can be both, you can be one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Yeah, because why not? Oh, it's 2019 and you can be whatever you like. It's a time to be alive. And to really push this home, Gillette, the amazing oh, here we go. company who's just been carrying on like absolute fucking pork chops all year, came out this week with another example of why I call them fucking pork chops. I always knew I was different. I didn't know that there was a term for the type of person that I was. I okay. Went into my transition just wanting to be happy. I'm glad I, I'm at the point where I'm able to shave. So, so. Oh, okay, Lord, so it was Lord, a scar woman, but now he's transitioning to a man. They had an amazing ad that came out on Facebook, not yet on YouTube, that's interesting, I wonder why. But it came <laughs> out know. and it was all about a young man who used to be a woman shaving for the first time. Mm -hmm. A magical experience. Now, I don't have any problems with the ad per se. I have problems with why Gillette are doing it. Oh yeah, why are they doing it? This woke advertising, where companies pick a side that maybe the silent majority disagrees with, and they run with that narrative. <laughs> now they did this, and That's they controversial. this this year, with a video that they made recently about why all men are pieces of shit, and toxic masculinity, all that stuff. They've done this- Yeah, because all men are pieces of shit, and women are, are the best. Again here, and this is why it's shit. <clears throat> because they're only doing this not because they care about transgender people or the first time that they shave. It's because it gets people talking about Gillette. Yeah, that's true. And they're taking advantage of these transgender people. It's fucking bullshit, Gillette. Pull your fucking heads in. Yeah, allegedly. I agree allegedly, with that. Just allegedly. People are changing genders, remaining genders. They're fluid genders. There's 58 different thousand fucking gender pronouns. Changing genders has become like a trend nowadays, hasn't it really? If you think about it. You should really jump behind it. I actually think it's a good move. In fact, if you want to break a, let's say, a female weightlifting record, you could do what UK rapper Zuby did and just become a woman for the day. A male British rapper... I've heard about this. This is bullshit. A male British rapper claims to have broken the women's weightlifting record while... Okay, everyone. For one day, I am a woman. Today, I'm a woman. All right, guys? All right? See, fuck's sake. <laughs> this is a dude who's a comic? Is he a comic he's or a, a rapper? He's a rapper. He's a Britain, rapper. Yeah. And he's fucking jacked. So <laughs> he decided to identify as a woman. The video. Watch me destroy so the he <laughs> destroys the British women's deadlift record without even trying. Wow. P.S. I identified as a woman whilst lifting weights. Don't be a bigot. <laughs> I love this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Zuby did exactly that. And I've got a question for this Zuby bloke. Who do you think you are? And how can you just change genders? What's up? It is this is definitely a woman here, see? See, you can definitely tell that he was a woman for that one day. Zuby, independent rapper extraordinaire, British female powerlifting champion. You know who it is. So the question from Isaac is, how could I just change from a man to a woman and back? And yeah. First of all, that's a pretty bigoted question. Secondly, oh, the is that answer bigoted? is that's how I feel. And who are you to deny my gender identity? Fuck off, I did mate. genuinely, in the nine seconds of those deadlifts and in the fifteen seconds or so of the bench press, I did in fact identify as a woman. How the fuck do you just identify as a woman? That makes no sense. And nobody can tell me otherwise because if you do, I can tell you otherwise. You're a fucking idiot. If you dare challenge me, you are challenging my lived experience, you are challenging my own gender identity, and then no, that makes you not just a bigot, but also a transphobe. When you're transgender, you feel like a woman or a man your whole life. You don't just wake up one day and go, oh, today I feel like a woman. No, you're... I'm not transphobic, you're just a dickhead. 
So I'm black for today. Anyone think that I'm not black is a racist and a homophobic because I'm also gay today as well. Now, this, this whole transgender thing and the whole thing with choosing genders and changing genders and picking your own is not really bad. No. Honestly. Like, who gives a fuck? Life is far too short to care about what other people are doing. You should be allowed to do it. You shouldn't have no problems doing it if it doesn't affect someone else. But I've seen far too many examples of this really hurting individuals. Yeah, it does. Take this one, for example. Using the pronoun they or there instead of he or she. Um, but what about this? Having a they... Oh, for fuck's sake, don't get me fired on babies. It's a new term that some parents are using to show that they're bringing oh, up their offspring. Geez. That's neutral. fucking stupid. Well, you know, the whole point of gender is that we don't know Sparrow's gender yet. Um, as far as what their anatomy is, uh, we do choose to keep that private. You're, you're married, is that right? Uh, yes, uh, I'm in a multi-adult family. There's three of us that are raising uh, two children. That poor fucking child. That kid is going to grow up with so many issues. That's true. Now, it's okay to be transgender. It is. We know that. It's, it's fine. I don't have an issue with that. But to force it upon a child... Yeah, it's fucked. It, the news loves this shit. They print fucking article after yeah, article it's true. about it because they know people are going to click on it. It's going to build revenue for, for them through ads. And they do, this will only extend the shelf life of this whole argument. It's absolutely everywhere. This is now a mainstream concept that these big companies are pushing out. Even Team Vogue made a video all about gender. Okay, I, I get when so when you're a kid, it doesn't really matter, right? You can be a boy or a girl, it doesn't fucking matter, right? But when you get older, if you're a girl, you're going to grow boobs, and then people are going to be like, oh, you're actually a girl. But what about when they're hanging out with other people, and they're with their friends, and they... Go, what are you, a boy or a girl? Oh, I, I'm neither. It's like, that's well, just going to be confusing for the poor little kids. Now, if you want to understand the public's response to this <clears> and not the fake response that the media would have had to it saying, wow, this is so brave, amazing, etc., have a look at the like to dislike ratio. <laughs> because it is fucking. Hilarious. Holy shit. I, I thought my. I thought my dislike ratio was bad on the marketable call out video. Is there something called biological sex? How can you question if there's something called biological sex? Biologically speaking, we are here for one reason to have sex, procreate, and die. That's it. To have babies and then pass away. Really? Is that, is that the only reason why we're here? I don't think that's true, necessarily. That's the only reason we're here. And the way to do that is to put a peen peen in a gine gine, jizz jizz. Good terms. And then baby born born, right? We all know that. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. But to say that <laughs> this doesn't exist biologically, a man and a woman, is fucking ridiculous. That's true. This idea that the body is either male or female is totally wrong. No. Actually, unless you're hermaphrodite and you're both, you're wrong. Totally wrong. The idea that... It if you got a dick or a vag, it's totally wrong. Okay, some people are intersex, they have both. That's a very small number. Are we going to change the definition of biological sex for a very small number of people? No, we're not. No. I understand that in your life right now, it is tough to deal with the person that you are, and that's, I'm sorry, okay? But that's life. A lot of people are struggling with a lot of things. But a lot of people who are struggling with other things don't <coughs> expect everyone else to change for them. We all have characteristics that are typically male and typically female and it is really about political choices social factors ideological choices that we assign meaning to different parts of our body so the meaning may be that the thing that most of us are taught that if you have a vagina you're a girl or if you have a penis you're a boy there is a reason that this conversation exists there's a That's reason true. that people are confused because people like the scientific and american community or at least their website and twitter page publish shit like this why we should all use they, them pronouns instead of he or she. What the fuck's wrong with that? Imagine the confusion for people when they're reading that the Scientific American mm -hmm. are saying this. The body doesn't just have one place where we can sit there with a microscope or something else and say, hey, wait a second, this is really who you are, this is your true sex. In fact, who you are is who you say you are. Okay, cool. Well, I'm the sexiest man alive with a fucking six million dollars in my pocket and I've got a 35-inch dick! Go me. We tend to think that chromosomes 
for women should only ever be XX. But there are women that have XY chromosomes. Fuck off. How does that even work? Oh my god. I, I just don't, don't get what these people are trying to get at here, right? If you have X Y chromosomes, then you're a male, right? But, uh, it's just so confusing. Okay, they're, they're just names given to us, alright? You can't just decide, oh, I've got a dick, but I want to be a female. It doesn't work that way. Unless you get surgery, then no. It just doesn't work. Determinant of your sex or your gender. When I say I'm a woman, I don't just mean that I identify as a woman. I mean that my biology is the biology of a woman. Yeah, okay. Same with me. I, I identify as a male. And my biology is male. See, if you have female biology, you can't just go, oh, I'm male. Fuck off. About it. it is divisive. It makes people it sure question. Is. It takes sides. It makes people think, well, I better not say that even though I think that because people might look down upon me. You cannot question this. No, you can't. This video, for example, won't be monetized by YouTube because it is on a contentious topic and they don't want to... Advertisers don't yeah, want yeah. to blah, blah, I think blah, people blah. really need to wrap their heads around the fact that you cannot be happy from an external stimulus, whether that is looking like a man or looking like a woman. You may have it for a little bit, but over time, you will continue to feel a little bit cheap. I think you need to somehow find happiness from within. Now, how you do that is a matter for you. But I will do what the video title told us to do. And pick a gender. Is, it's time for me to pick my new gender and ladies and gentlemen my new gender is it's whatever you're born with and you don't have to chop off your dick or grow a vagina or fucking implant a foot from somewhere i don't know to be happy <laughs> as i just said it's find true. external happiness and be happy with the person you are we all have things we're not proud of that are a part of our bodies we're not happy with certain things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. But I can tell you what, from someone who used to be extremely overweight, yeah. this is just an example. And I lost that It's hard to believe that he was overweight. That's not, that's not how it works. It just doesn't. Find happiness within yourself. That's true. But that doesn't mean you can't better yourself. If you are 100%, you look like me, you know you're a woman, then fucking you put that dress on, motherfucker, and you look like that. Who gives a fuck? Own that shit. But don't try and change other people's lives. Yeah. Anyway, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. And I'll see you all very soon. Toodaloo. Mm -hmm. uh, bye. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, for less than 1%, um, transgender is a real thing. And uh, people are just born that way because they have a woman's brain but a man's body. Most of these people that are doing this are just trying to get attention. I feel sorry for the transgender people. Anyway, I would love to hear your opinions on this in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and come back next Friday because I'll have another episode. Or if you want to check out more of my videos, I have my LimFans Reddit over here. Or I have my latest LaCro here. Or I have last week's episode over there. And until next time... Don't forget to tune in on Sunday because I'll have a look. Whoa!